How y'all doing out there? Oh, man. Welcome to the slightly boozier second performance. Sporting the new Duesenberg Session Man guitar. As you can see on the banners. Hello to everybody out there in streaming land. This one's going to be, uh, it's called Election Day Blues. Remember that one? Anybody remember that? Way back on Election Day. Kick it, boys. Come on. Man, thank you guys so much for coming to this. I mean, I said this in the first show, and I really mean it. Um, if you would have told me a year ago that this shit would all be happening, I would have never believed it. It was this, the whole show started as a joke, and it just turned into this crazy thing. And look at us. You got the shirt. Look at you. Listen, listen to this drummer that we got. It's Shannon Forrest. Check this motherfucker.
Let's check this guitar player we got. Jerry Mack. you got Jerry look at this man I got I was gonna give this away for a trivia check this out it's got a little beer stain on it but it's still cool this is the this is the last you know how I do the little handwritten notes for the for the show this is the very last session that happened in the garage Number 98, okay? A little soaked from the beer, but if anybody can answer this trivia question, you get this fucking thing. 1976, this is a gear question for all you guitar nerds. What was the very first boss pedal ever made? What's the model? <laughs> CE1. Who said it? Rick, hand this to the man. Rick, he earned it. He got this. I'll even si I even signed it. If anybody gives a shit. Can I can I call an audible, guys in the band? Can I please? It's not on the set list, but I'm in the mood to play it. Cadillac Larry. Remember it? Nobody cares. Let's kick it up. Let's kick it up a little bit. This is going to be a good one here. Cadillac Larry. I'm telling you. This is one of my favorites.
So check it out. Well, I, I wanted to say, I should have said this in the first show, but I want to say thank you to somebody out in the streaming land. Um, I got to look at the names again. I got an email today, this morning when I woke up, that made me cry like a little baby. It was pitiful. Um, Janice and Tim Glasgow, and Janice wrote this amazing long email talking about how I, my silly videos have affected all the different generations of their family. She was playing the videos from her 102-year-old mother while she was in her deathbed because it calmed her down. Man, I was bawling. It's terrible. But I just wanted to say thank you for that email. It was really cool. And I, I got a wife, Sarah Buxton. She wants to sing a song. And I want her to sing a song. And here it comes. I think it's a pretty appropriate number um, because I got flooded so bad in my new house that I just bought. But so we're going to do an old Peter Gabriel song called Here Comes the Flood. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for coming. Proud of you. Thank you. Oh. Now I'm going to start crying again. Well, yeah, Shannon's not going to cry. You know that chord? You know that one, Jerry? So Sarah was kind enough to sing this song. It's it's a dude song, right? So it's pretty low, you know, Peter Gabriel. But she was sport, and she offered to do it in the original key because I love songs in the original key, right? That's that's kind of. But we got to the rehearsal, and it's just so damn low. We had to raise it a half step. Still gonna be cool. Just so you know, it's not the original key. Okay, it's half yeah. step up.
flood comes, you have no home, you have no wall. In the thunder crash, you're a thousand miles within a flash. Don't be afraid to cry at what you see. The act is gone, there's only you and me. And if we break before the dawn, then use up what we use to be. All right then. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Crazy. What do you guys want to do now? Oh yeah, watch this. Yeah, yeah it's Dread Fury. Man, I don't remember that one. Okay. Okay. This one's called uh, Fall is Here from the uh, somewhere in the 70s, episode 70. The bad haircut era.
dig these cool t-shirts, man. You can buy one of these up front if you like. You already got one? Okay. Um, here's a crazy song called uh, London Broil. I don't know what the hell I was smoking when I wrote this one. But I'm trying to do a fake 12 string on a, on a no 12 string guitar, so check this out. <laughs> The guy that taught me how to do the fake 12 string is actually here tonight, Bobby Gaywood. Hey, Bobby. And we used to play in a cover band together, and he would, he would play uh, Kicks by Paul Revere. He'd go. So we couldn't afford 12 strings. That's how he did it. It worked. Okay, um, Shannon Forrest is going to give you a little something here. Check it out.
terrible guitar. It's awful. Mason, is that what you said? Mason, Doris, birthday today? Where is he? Right, right out there? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start this one, Jerry. I'm in the mood, man. I'm in the mood to start this shit. <laughs> Jerry Mac. We got a little Stevie Mackey on the bass guitar. Shannon Forrest on the drums. Got a lot of history with all three of these cats. Jerry Mack. Some of it good. Some of it good, man. 
Jerry and I have done so many sessions together, double electric guitars, we call ourselves the Tom and Jerry Show. You know, how does it work so good, Jerry? So if he plays both the beat, I play all of the beat. Oh, you know, um, there's only one thing besides music that, that I really like, and it's poetry. Anybody into poetry? Um, I'm a big, uh, big poetry fan. Does anybody out there know any, uh, any cool Bukowski or anything? Oh, you? Well, you got a, you got a good Bukowski for us? Bring it up here. What's your name? Yeah, what's your name, man? <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here? I, oh, here's my mask. Hey, hey, Boop. Reciting poetry with a mask yeah. is like. It's like. Come on, yeah, it's exactly. What he said. To the whore who took my poems. Some say we should keep personal remorse from the poem. Stay abstract. And there is some reason in this. But Jesus. Twelve poems gone. And I don't keep carbons. My paintings, too. The best ones. Stifling. Are you trying to crush me out like the rest of them? <laughs> Why didn't you take my money? They usually do. From the sleeping drunken pants, sick in the corner. <laughs> Next time, take my left arm or a 50, but not my poems. I'm not Shakespeare. Sometimes, simply, there won't be any more poems, abstract or otherwise. There'll always be money and whores and drunkards down to the last bomb. But as God said, crossing his legs, I see where I have made plenty of poets, but not so very much poetry. Bukowski, the best. Thurman, man. Wait, wait till you get into your 20s. You're going to love that Bukowski. Perfect stuff for a depressed guy in his 20s. Boy, it happened to me. Okay, fellas. What are you thinking, tune-wise? Firebird. Want to do that? Yeah. Which one? Firebird Lullaby? Yeah, Jerry, what, what do you think, man? Let's do that, okay. I was a little nervous in the first show because I've never fronted a band before. It's a weird feeling. You know? I was always just a side man, you know? I'm not nervous anymore. Jerry, this is my favorite one in the whole set. You ready for it? No, let me get my, myself a tune here. I love this guy, Jerry Mack. Check him out. 
We're going to play a song together called Firebird Lullaby. called just cream please
Yeah, man. Thank you, guys. Okay, so, um, hell, what have I forgotten to talk about? Let's see. What? You want to do a quick live B VCB? What do you guys think? Anybody have any poignant questions they want to talk to? My favorite guitar. Desert Island guitar. If I was on a desert island, I would have an acoustic. Yeah. Yeah. Because there ain't no power on there, so. There ain't no power. Yeah. You know, the real truth here, should I, this is probably the time to tell you all. Yeah, a buddy of mine, uh, I don't own this guitar, and I never will. But a friend of mine bought this and has let me play it for a while. Very cool. One of the most generous things anyone's ever done for me. Because it's a fucking badass guitar. It's a 58. Mm, I don't know. Maybe 140 bucks, I think it's worth. <laughs> but he's let me play it for a while. But I got to give it back to him. It's like a library book that I got to check out for a while and then give it back to him. <laughs> okay, yeah. So yeah, man. Um, what's what's next, Jerry? Bird. Okay. Um, I've been making this record with Dean DeLeo from the Stone Temple Pilots, right? And he's uh, he's he was watching tonight on the live stream. He said he was. What a great dude, man! I love this cat. He's such a good dude. And um, we've been writing all these tunes, and we got the album almost finished. We got to just mix it and put it out, and come up with some cool album artwork, which is what we need. The band's called Trip the Witch. This song is actually going to be on the album. It's called The Bird Returns, okay? Go ahead, buddy.
Yeah, the bird returns. I'm gonna do another audible, okay, cats? You guys cool with that? I'm gonna do uh, Tennessee Jack Ford again, okay? <laughs>
All right. Man, I'm having a fucking blast. Is the boys still here? Did they leave? Oh, hey, man. Marshall. My sweet boys. I wonder what they think of all this stuff. This is a cool one. I, I, I think this is probably the group favorite of all of our... It seems like I asked the cats which one they like playing the most. This is, this is a fun one. It's called TV Dinner. You guys remember it? Okay. Here it comes.
All right, you guys had enough? I think we can do one more for you, I think. Man, what do you, gonna, what do you wanna hear, any requests? <laughs> Working man blues? <laughs> Cop show. All right. All right. One more. Cop show is the uh, weird oh, stuff. Yeah. All right. Man, thank you guys so much for coming out to this mess. Uh, it means the world that you're all here. After the show, I'll stand over there and, um, you know, take a picture, whatever you like. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. guys man had a blast thanks to this amazing band thank you for sarah for coming up and singing thank you guys for supporting the show i really appreciate it all right thanks to rick for helping me with my gear thanks to my family uh my dear mom uh my brothers and sisters and it's all good okay you got it, guys. Good night.